Hello and welcome to the Outpost RV. My name is Jeremy and today we're going to take a look at the Alpha Wolf 26 DBHL. This camper comes in at 31 feet 8 inches tongue to bumper and weighs just over 6,100 pounds empty. As we get started up front here we have your power tongue jack with the LED lights you can see at nighttime when you're hooking up. We have two 20 pound LP tank bottles that will be filled by the Outpost RV. We have your hard shell cover with the quick access lid. We have your Group 27 battery that comes with it from the factory. We have the juice pack option on here, meaning there is a 100 watt solar panel on the roof as well. Black diamond plate rock guard. We have your fiberglass molded front end cap here with the blue LED accent lights. On the side walls, they are going to be laminated and the sidewalls are aluminum frame with the dense styrofoam insulation as well. We have this huge pass-through area, lots of storage up front. We have the motion sensor light included as well. They are 360 prepped for the Furion camera. So if you wanted to add side cameras and the rear camera, you could do that at any point in time. We have your leash latch so the furry family members can tag along here. Power jacks up front and in the back. This switch will run the front two jacks up and down. How that will work is one leg will come down and hit the ground first. The other one will come down and they will equal out in pressure to stabilize the camper for you. We have this huge 20 foot power awning with the blue LED accent light underneath. Each leg is adjustable. If the sun's coming down, you can adjust the pitch of the awning here. We have your sturdy steps going inside where each leg is also adjustable if you're on different levels of ground. Oversized grab handle to get in and out. We have the black tempered glass entrance door, has a full size screen door and a built in window as well. Right up top, you can put a security camera above the door if you wanted to. We have your outside kitchen area with a water source, ice maker, refrigerator, two burner stove and your sink area. There is an LP quick disconnect underneath so you can simply use your gas on the camper to run your two burner stove here. We have your outside entertainment center with your speakers and TV connections. Down below, we have the center cap popped off. There are all uh, quick, easy loop axles. All four wheels are going to have self-adjusting brakes and a tire pressure monitoring system as well. How that'll work is this will turn red if you're low on air. So we will unscrew that to demonstrate. That way, before you head off for your next destination, you can do a walk, walk around visual check to make sure you're good on air. In the back here, we also have your sturdy steps going inside directly to the bathroom area and your switch for the electric jacks back here. In the back, your four inch tube bumpers where you store your sewer hose when not in use. We have your travel rack with the spare tire and cover included. Up top, we have a ladder prep. You can buy that separately. It's a telescoping ladder to get up there for roof maintenance purposes. And of course, it is pre-wired for that observation camera in the back as well. On-demand water heater, it's a tankless system. It is gas only, but you're only using gas when you're running hot water. We have your uh, LED light over here by your connections. We have your cable and satellite at the top corners here. Fresh water fill right in the middle. So if you're dry camping or boondocking, you can fill up your fresh water tank and use that water. We have your city water on the left. So if you're at a campground, you hook your water hose up here and that'll pressurize the lines for you. And then your black tank flush on the far right. So when you're done camping for the week or weekend, you can hook your water hose up here and clean out the black tank. This is a 30 amp unit and it will come with a 25 foot detachable power cord. We have your outside shower over here, which is a low pressure spray port with hot and cold water. Storage over here. And as we move up in front of the slide room area, we are going to have last but not least, the other side of your pass-through storage compartment. And the red key inside is a 12 volt cutoff switch that will kill all 12 volt power to the battery. So if the camper's in storage, you can turn that off so that way your battery stays charged up for you. That'll conclude our outside walkthrough of the Alpha Wolf 26 DBHL. And now we'll take a look at the inside. As we move to the inside, you'll notice we have lots of seating in here. We're gonna have the oversized double bunks as well, giving you lots of sleeping in here. Plenty of floor space. Got the pantry right over there by the fridge. Nice large kitchen area here. And we'll go ahead and get started right inside the entrance door. Up top, you have a 12 volt port. That way, if you were to add those cameras, you could keep your screen charged up 
for your security cameras there. We have your voltmeter up top, since we have the juice pack option. On the left is your on-demand water heater thermostat to turn that on and off and adjust the temperature of it. And then right beside that, we have your main control panel to turn your lights on and off, water pump on and off, and run your slide room and awning in and out there. Up top, we have your overhead cabinets. We have extra LED lights in the kitchen, making it nice and bright here. Your microwave with the range vent that will vent to the outside. We have your kitchen window, decorative backsplash here, lots of counter space, have some storage drawers down below. And underneath the sink, this is the farmhouse style kitchen sink. So it is a single bowl. It comes with the cover as well for extra prep space. That way, if you're not cooking, you can utilize that. As you can see, nice big sink area here. We have your faucet with the pull down sprayer as well. It's going to come equipped with a three burner stove that has the glass cover for prep space. The oven as well. Furnace directly underneath that. Underneath your refrigerator, we have your breakers and fuses. Your furnace is going to be ducted throughout the cabinets. So there is no floor ducts that are going to get a bunch of dirt trapped inside of them. Here we have your 12 volt refrigerator. It is 12 volt only, but it is much deeper than the previous gas electrics, giving you a lot more space inside here. We have your th digital thermostat that will control your air conditioner and furnace here. And we do have this large pantry area. They have the frosted glass door that says pantry, giving it a really nice look. We have shelves in here and it goes all the way down to the floor. So lots of storage in the pantry area. Next up, we'll move into the bathroom area. This will have its own entrance door directly from the outside, which is a nice feature as well. You have your toilet inside, shower area, you're going to have the draw curtain to pull across. Uh, just to the right here, you'll notice they had a couple of hooks. So you can hang your towels up inside here. This is also going to come with another feature where you can hang clothes in here. That rod is completely removable. But if you're traveling and need extra space for clothes, or if you get there and need to hang something up, that is a great feature. They also add an upgraded shower head. Skylight above the shower. We have a multi-speed vent fan here. So a really large exhaust fan. It's got four different speeds on it. Above the sink, we have your corner medicine cabinet giving you extra space in there as well. Underneath that, you're gonna have a 110 outlet in here. Really large sink in the bathroom area. A lot of times you'll find a really small sink here, but that is an extra large sink in the bathroom. And of course, some storage down below there as well. Now we'll move over and take a look at the double bunks. These bunk beds are really nice. It is gonna come equipped with a built-in ladder as well. So this will simply lift up, fold out, and allow the kids easier access to get up to that top bunk there. There is built-in storage underneath on this side. Again, with the large double bunk, they are going to be equipped with a light. You'll see over here on the left-hand side, it's gonna have its own light and a 110 outlet and USB and a type C charge port there. And up top here, we are also gonna have another 110 outlet and a USB and a type C charge port just to the right. And of course it will have its own light up above as well. There are privacy curtains that can pull around. You have one on the right to close off this little section and a big one over here on the left that will cover the top and bottom bunk area. As we move in the slide room, you're gonna notice the zebra blinds. Those are a really nice feature, really dress up the camper. You can have them darkened out the way it is or partially open to let in a little bit of sunlight. You're also gonna get this blue LED accent light up above the slide room. Large U-shaped dinette here. This will also turn into another sleeping area, big enough to sleep two more adults. We have storage underneath each drawer. I'm sorry, each, underneath each seat is a drawer that will pull out. And there is also some storage underneath that back middle bench as well. We have your jackknife sofa over here. That will lay flat like a futon, turn into another sleeping area, but more for a child. 
and there is some storage underneath that as well. Now to the main entertainment center area, you'll notice we have the built-in vacuum system here. It's got the tow kick on the left. You simply raise that up and you can sweep all your dirt right inside there. Fireplace, that can be on for looks or it can act as a space heater as well. And that would be an electric heat for you. Up top, we have a little bit of storage here. You'll notice this mount on the wall. That is for a Bluetooth speaker. You could buy that separately and you can charge up your Bluetooth speaker there and then carry it around outside and have music with you as well. Up top is for your stereo. You will actually play music off your phone. You could use YouTube or Pandora or your favorite app there. That will control zone one and two for your inside outside speakers. And of course we have the TV up top here. Uh, it is a rainy day today and I apologize. The signal's not coming in very good but we do have the TV included as well. There are doors on both sides of the bed. We have a window here. You're gonna come with a 110 outlet and 12 volt charge port on both sides of the bed. Little built-in nightstand area, storage drawer, and then room for hanging clothes on both sides. Up top, we're gonna have storage cabinets with doors so you can utilize that while traveling down the road as well. Up in front of the bed, we have this decorative wall board, and then the bedding is included as well. Over on the other side of the bed, it does look a little bit different. You're going to have a 12 volt charge port and a 110 outlet over there. That 110 outlet has a built in inverter. So as you're traveling down the road, even if you pull over to a gas station, you can turn that outlet on and actually have 110 power there. We have the large window on the other side of the bed. Again, access on either side of the bed here. And there is a location to mount a TV in here and then a space up top to run your wires through and power cable as well. And that will conclude our walkthrough of the Alpha Wolf 26 DBHL. I appreciate you guys watching. If you have any questions, feel free to contact myself or Henry at 866-338-9845. Thank you guys for watching and have a great day.